Okay, we're gonna reinstall a urethane on a plate and then show you how to, the easiest way to put it on the machine. First thing you wanna notice is that there's a flat sharp side and a round side to your washers. When you get ready to put a urethane back on, you wanna make sure that the round side of the washer always contacts the urethane. So if you're doing a 3520, just put the round side up and just go ahead and put three of them around. Then you're gonna take your bolts and another washer and you're gonna put the flat side towards the head with the round side towards the urethane. You're gonna do this and you're gonna go ahead and push them through the urethane until they're flush. You go Every other one you're gonna put a, a bolt with a washer on it. Then you're gonna Go ahead and line these up and just drop them in. Take the socket and the handle that came in your tool kit. Put a little pressure here and just push down. You'll feel it drop in. Just do about a half a turn on each one until they catch. And then go around and, and tighten them all down. You'll feel them when they get tight. And it's important to start here, 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 and just make the rounds until they get until they get semi-tight. You'll feel them land. Then to to put them to the correct spec, you want to turn turn the plate over and you want to tighten the bolts until the bolt heads are flush with the plate. So what you'll do is, it's usually about two turns, about two revolutions, and as soon as that bolt head comes flush with the plate, that's the correct torque for those. Um, I'm going to show you how to put the uh, how to put the the plate now to the up flange. The up flange, as you notice, this one's not on a machine, obviously. If it is, it's up here. When you go to do your up flange, you're going to want to take three more bolts, put the washers on with the round side towards the urethane, pick your plate up, put the bolt through the urethane until it's flush or seated, and you're going to want to do that three to the three that go through. Now, this is obviously not on the machine, but if it was, it's much easier to start if there's two people, especially with the 35 inch plate. And all you gotta do is line one of these up, take your socket, and get it started. Put about one, one, one and a half turns on it. Then, then you're able, better able to hold it. And then what you want to do is, you want this plate at the top of the machine while you're working on it. So it's further off the ground, it's easier to work on. Then what you do is you rotate, rotate the plate up until it lines up with the threaded boss. It's not going to go in. What you want to do is get it lined up and then take a flat screwdriver and push towards the center until you feel it until you feel it drop in the in the threaded up flange boss. So once once it drops in, then you'll take your included socket and give it a couple of turns. and then you're gonna to go to the next one. And as you can see, it's not lined up. It's, it's sprung to the outside. So the reason why you need the flat screwdriver is to push it towards the center and you'll feel it, you'll feel it drop into the hole. As soon as you hear it and feel it drop in, take the 
socket again, put it on there, put a little pressure on it, and start turning it. It'll it, and that'll make it so you don't cross thread the up flange that's on the machine. If they're not turning really easy, do not continue. If it's really hard, back it off until you back it off until you hear it pop, and then re redo the process with the screwdriver. And I'll do one just just so you can get an idea. So let's say this one doesn't feel like it's going in straight. Just go ahead and back it out, and it'll it'll pop back out like this. What you want to do is take your wrench off, and you want to push it again so it's it's flush with the urethane again. And then you'll want to take the screwdriver and push it in towards the hole until you hear it pop or, and feel it. And then once again, put your socket on, and then tighten it up. Now. Go around and, and tighten them all up until this gap is gone and then it's the same with the ones on the front when the bolt goes through and it's flush with the plate when the bolt goes through and it's flush with the back of the flange you just put your hand back there then you know that it's the right torque spec and you're all done